Yeah, so thank you for uh, for for this demo. What I would like to to show you today is um, a short version, a demo version in 30 minutes, 40 minutes maximum, just to how to use Istio in a visual manner through Kiali. So I guess that you know Kiali is a, a dashboard, a service mesh dashboard focused on Istio. It's going to give you a lot of feature observability management. And recently, um, we published a tutorial when we want to showcase how to make Istio easy. Basically, that's our goal. So what uh, all the steps that I, I want to present today are fully uh, documented um, in kiali.io uh, just clicking the tutorial so you can reproduce all that they're going to show you with with time with all the resources uh, um, and this is what i would like to do today right so uh let me first to show you what i have for the demo so i have a, um, a remote cluster let's see if i can connect today there are some internet problems i know that this after this this, this afternoon my time morning for you the issue that you was a little bit down but yeah this is what i have i have a a remote cluster you know in in google cloud platforms and i have a booking for uh deploy and i have my key and deploy so i'm not going to use um book info i'm going to use a different demo application but i would like to show you how i configure my kiali normally when you follow the getting started steps you run the istio ctl dashboard command to open a, a local connection from your machine into the, the into kiali uh, in my case what i did is to expose the the add-ons you know um through gateways so in that way, I can show you how uh, basically what I created is just a gateway for Kiali, a gateway for Grafana, and a gateway for, for Tracy. So I have available these this gateways with, with this URL, right? So uh, for the demo, what I want to do is to, I'm going to start installing this Travels application. That is in the tutorial. Okay. And let me to um, to describe you uh, what application I'm um, I, I'm studying. So the demo application that I'm going to use for this it has um, is is an application to simulate travels uh, a travel shop for different countries. So I have different travel shops, right? From in this case for three countries, which every country each country is going to have its own. Uh, particular uh, characteristics in terms of the traffic that they generate and all these travel shops that it is going to simulate that there are UIs somewhere that that that, that receive requests from from customers and and they are going to communicate with a travel service that is living in a different namespace in a, in a travel agency namespace and um, i'm going to have a travel service here a several other services in this namespace that are going to simulate that are going to collect requests for flags, uh, requests for hotels, requests for cars, insurance, or even discounts, right? Also, these uh, travel shops are more or less a simulator that, uh, that are going to, uh, to generate different type of traffic to, to prove or to, to, to demonstrate each of features in a more complex way. And I'm going to have a UI for this uh, for this demo demo app that is going to show me what all these travels uh, this this travel portal shops are doing, right? So uh, I deploy that. So I expect that as soon as I'm talking. Uh, okay, what is happening? I'm sorry. What is happening here? So I have some problems here. Okay, uh, no, what is happening? Sorry, I tested this before. One second, please. I'm going to create the namespace. I'm going to deploy my applications. OK, 
Okay. 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 Now I see that the um, the tower application are, are working, right? So you can see the, here the, the three name space, right? Um, let me to show you uh, um, a scenario that you may happen when, when you when you when you start using Istio, right? So the first thing that I want to show you is that um, if I when I deploy my application, for example, the first thing that I want to check is something in the graph, right? And I don't see nothing. Why I don't see nothing? So if I click here, for example, Kiali can give me information that this board loss has not yet, the, 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 they are not yet in the mess. So they don't have the, the, uh, the, the, the injected the, the, the wall of that. So for that case, what the first thing that I'm going to do is that in, in this travel control, it is the UI, I'm going to enable the auto injection, right? From Kiali, and it's going to show me that now I have the Istio injection enabled, right? And in this case, I'm going to click into this workload. Um, I'm going to say, okay, I want to enable auto injection for this workload. And then, what I expect is going to happen that, okay, now the, uh, the, uh, the sidecar is uh, deployed into this, into this, um, into this workload. And the next step that I'm going, that I want to do is I'm going to expose this service, which is the UI of my demo application, right? So what do you need to expose a service through the ingress. You need to generate a gateway, you need to uh, to create a virtual services and also a destination rule. So if I click into the into a service, right, into this control service, I can just to go to Kiali and create an action to request routing. And I can tell Kiali, I would like to generate a, a rule to route all the matching traffic to the control workload, right? And I will say, okay, all the requests from these services are going to, to be routed to the control world. If I click in the show advanced options and I click into the gateway, I can also do this service to do. And with this configuration, I also want to generate a gateway for you. And this is the DNS that I'm going to use. Uh, for the DNS, I'm using a local DNS server in my, in my machine, my demo machine, but this is something that you need to create in your DNS. You need to talk with the network administration and to say, okay, I need a new DNS for the ingress gateway, right? Typically is what we are going to use. I'm going to create that, right? And now that I have the, the service generated, I'm going to open, and this is the UI of, of this application, right? Um, what this application is doing. So this UI is monitoring travel shops that I have here, and these travel shops are generating requests, right? Um, different type of request. The interesting thing from this application, instead to book info, is that I can create a more rich uh, scenario. Like I can create a traffic with different ratio that I can simulate that one shop is receiving traffic from customers from mobile instead of the web. I can to change the type of the user. One shops are requesting one type of user except other. And also I can see here a little bit of what the business is doing. So I have requests for new travels for this city and I can see what is the proportion. Why I'm showing this because I'm going to simulate multiple scenarios that can involve that, okay, for one shop, if I have too much traffic, I will need to, to, to route to a different workload, et cetera, right? Just to, to demonstrate better Istio use cases. Okay, so let's show this in Kiali, right? So uh, one that I have this, I'm going to, uh, for example, to go to the overview and, and see, okay, now I start seeing some traffic, right? So if I go to the, um, to the travel control, I can see that, okay, I have some kind of traffic, but this is a common situation that if I want to also to extend this uh, visualization to other namespace, I see, hey, I only see 
one name space. What happened? And this is also pretty common in, in, in especially for users that are starting to use You can show that you have a mix or application that are inside into the mess and other application that are not yet into the mess. What means that they don't have a sidecar, so they are not part of the data plane, so they don't connect with the control plane. So I have visibility from Kiali that I have word loss, but this is something that I don't have missing sidecar. So it's also a way that I can use Kiali to troubleshoot why I don't see what I expect when I start using Istio or I'm debugging some Istio scenario, right? What is happening because um, in this namespace, I select to have the East injection enabled, but in the others, I didn't enable the East injection by default. One of my scripts failed and, and I need to reproduce that. So uh, the next step that I'm going to do is, okay, just that I showcase how to see word loss with sidecar and how to see um, word loss without sidecar, right? I understand that. I, I'm going to uh okay. I'm going to enable the sidecar, but this time I'm going to uh, to use the, the, the command line to simulate the the typical scenario, right? I'm going to to create the kubectl because normally when you want to deploy an application in the Istio, you you do this step previously, right? And I'm going to redeploy my Okay. Now I will expect that uh, what I'm doing now is okay. So sorry, let me to put down. Okay, now I don't have the. I'm going to spec now that that I see, you know, how the applications are redeploy. And um, okay, now I see, you know, that I don't have the flag, the message that uh, the the cycles are missing. So now all the warlords of Kiari are inside the mess, right? So what next? So. Uh, Okay, so then let's repeat the, the same step that, that before. So now I'm going to the travel control and I can see that I have more traffic. Oh, I have a different, right? So now I have this application, which is the this demo app that is talking with the, with the shops, right? But also I can add uh, multiple namespace into this view and I can uh, build a rich view of all my SQL services. In this case, the, this UI application that I suppose via Ingress is talking with these shops, with travel shops. I have one shop for uh, for UK, I have another shop for France, another for, for Italy. And these shops are also talking with um, another service, the, the travels. And I can also to extend the namespace and I can I have a uh, a wider view of all my all my all my three namespace. Okay, so I think you you can see that, right? Sorry, I having some problem with. Apologize, I have some problem with Zoom. I know. Can you still see my screen? Can someone confirm? Yes, I can. Okay. I don't know if anyone else. Thank you, because I, okay, now, yeah, sorry. I, I wanted to do this and I have some problem with my local. Okay, and now I, I guess that you can see uh, a large image, right? Okay. Yeah, you made it bigger. Thank you, and uh, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I, I, I have some technical problems, but okay. So um, yeah, now what I wanted to show you is, okay, how to see three name space and all the traffic flowing from this demo app, you know, from this UI to these portal shops and how these portal shops are sending requests to the, to the travel agency and how the traffic are, are moving, right? Uh, okay, uh, one of the displays options to, to start with, um, 
but the destiny is to, to enable the traffic animation. The traffic animation is going to take the, the, the request rate of this take and is going to show me that in, into Kiabi, right? Um, more thing that I would like to do or to show is, okay, this is good. Everything is more or less green, which means that all the pods of the controllers are up and I don't detect any kind of network errors in the, in the HTTP protocols and that's fine. But Kiali can also give me more information about that. So, and this is what I wanted to see in this demo. For example, I can enable the, the, the request distribution. And one interesting thing is that, okay, tell me um, who is talking uh, a lot. And in the filter, if you can see, right, I can highlight, I can query the graph and I can tell me, okay, in this particular uh, edge, I, I have 46% of all the traffic of the travel science. Right. Uh, one another interesting thing is that imagine that now I want to click in this in this service, right? And when I click in this service, remember that all the sidecars of the data plane of Istio are collecting telemetry from the network, and also another signal that they collect are the trace of the, applic of the application, right? So and all these traces can be shown into Kiali as well. So. Then I have a suspicious in this demo that if I have a high rate of, of radio to this service, I can click there and I can see now, I can see uh, all the traces that are uh, involved in this, in this request and I can see what it's doing. So uh, I can select one of several traces and that can give me information that what is happening in this, in this, particular, uh, in this particular microservice, right? So, you know, uh, one traffic, is generated from this portal shop, it's coming to the travels and is okay uh, communicating with several microservices in parallel, right? And this goes to this other service as well. So this is something that I can overlap and correlate the tracing information with the telemetry information in a graphical way, right? So uh, let's continue investigating, right? What is happening? I can double click on the particular service and I can get more details about, okay, what is happening. So all the portals are communicating with this travel service and this workload is uh, just uh, giving more traces or more traffic into the hotels that into the other services like the cars, insurance, flights, right? So uh, let's go to the application details, right? In the application details, I can uh, group, for example, the workloads and services with the a specific app label. This is important because uh, Istio collects or groups telemetry also as well from workload and also from the same app. So if we click in the album metrics, I can see how, oh, okay, this is the album metric that is, is, is flowing from the travels uh, workload uh, outside. And I can see that, okay, that I have the other microservices is low, the cars is low, the flights is low. and if, and, and I can see that, okay, the hotel traffic is much higher than the others. Another feature that I can see, the same uh, correlation between tracing um, and, and, and telemetry, I can enable on this chart. So if I click in the span duration, right, I can see, okay, I have some suspicions here that probably this is a, a trace that is pretty much slow. So let me investigate that. And I can click here and I will see that the in the trace um, uh, for this application, these are the trace for this interval, and I may have some suspicious. One question: What is good or what is not good for for doing the context? This is what also Kiali tries to do. What what we try to do for a specific trace is to give you okay. I have this trace. It's not an error. It's a little bit higher than the other, the average. But how do you uh, determine if this is good or not is what we try to help you. How to do that? So we combine the tracing also with, you know, with summaries of the telemetry. So what you see here is a heat map when you can compare and you can decide, okay, this trace compared with the other telemetry, it seems a little bit red that probably could be slow than the, than the, than the, than the other, right? And I can click on the trace and I can see 
these details. Okay, probably this is Spanish could be more slow. I can get into the span details and I have the same information. So I can determine what are the span of these trays. And I can say, okay, probably this is a green, probably this is okay, but this is red, probably is, is, is something is happening on this one. So I have the details and I also can click into more details and say, okay, let me jump into the, um, the Jagger UI to continue my investigation and get deep and tell me, okay, what is going wrong with this trace? If this, if this trace is something, an error that I may have, or is some problem that I may have, you know, this is one, one thing that I would like to show you. Also, if I go back to the application, I can get into the, um, uh, I say, into the workload and I can go, go deeper. For example, I can see this is the, the, the workload, this is the bots. Also, I have the information about the about the, the traffic that I have here. I can also click in the logs tabs. I'm going to collect the container logs, what the application is doing, but also with the sidecar logs. So I can combine and I can filter. For example, if I try to see, okay, hotels was the endpoint that is giving problems. I can see that okay, probably this is doing too many requests, and I can determine that okay, there are requests that have um, a city and other requests that are uh, without city. So uh, what is happening is that in this example, the shops before that a user can start to to request a, a specific uh, travel, so there is an extra query. To the hotel just to give me okay give me all the availability and offers from the hotel this is one of the reasons that i have an, an hotel more overloaded than others if i'm debugging and i want to to go deep i can also click in the workload and one of the actions is also show me the envoy configuration right and i can see okay this is the raw configuration but also what are the clusters that are involved in Istio, right? For this specific uh, workload, what are the listeners that are working, right? So this is information that I can I can show you how to do that. Okay, okay so this is just uh, a first step of the demo, just to show you how to go from from the generic, how to I can combine several name space in, in a graphical view or go into the details, right? So uh, let's continue with with that. So I have this service and probably, uh, but everything is green, right? I, I have this, this scenario, but let me to change that by the response time, right? I can also to show the, the response time, let me to change the view. Um, everything is, is green, even if the, the hotels is, is overloaded. So one thing that I can, that Istio can help me is to test the resilience of my application. And one thing that we can do in this demo is let's try to create some kind of foul injection scenario for this, this, these services. What happens is I start to introduce delays in these services. Is going to get down on the application or the, my architecture is going to survive to this? So how to um, generate foul injection in Istio? So something that Kiali can help me is to create all the necessary Istio uh, virtual services destination ratio by you. So in the case of uh, a fault injection scenario, I can just go here and I'm going to create a, let's say a delay, a five seconds delay on all the requests that happen to this microservice, right? Um, I will show this and under this service, I can show you how this um, Kiali has generated the specific virtual service and destination ratio configuration, right? So if I click in the Istio config, I will see that, okay, I generated the virtual service, the destination rule for the hotels in the virtual services when I define the fixed delay default, right? And I can see how this configuration is linked also with the service right, for easy navigate. If I click into the hotels, I can also see that, okay, that the, I have the raw YAML of the destination rule, but I also 
can show where this destination knowledge is linked. When I have some kind of validations, the, for example, the OKL is going to tell me, hey, you have a problem here, so this destination rule is bad, right? You are missing some, some labels. Okay, and now, so I can see in the graph as well that uh, the, um, the, the hotel services is, is highlighting where the virtual services you have, is, is, is defined, right? So uh, then as soon as the this delay is getting propagated into the other services, I'm going to start to see how the rest of the services are getting uh, slower. So our, the response times are going to, to be deteriorated and we are going to see how. So things that I can use is to check as well in the graph, okay, start to tell me, uh, for example, in in other view in my word loss, where the word loss starts to get slow, right? And I will see how the, as soon as the telemetry is, is propagating, so these services are going to, to get in slow. But it seems that that uh, this services is getting slow, but it's, uh, it's not crashing the system. The system is still healthy. I don't have errors. Okay, so uh, I can see the impact as well. If I click into the the service, I can also see them. Let me show them destination rules. Okay, if I go to the inbound metrics and I can go to the request duration, I can see that, okay, at the moment that I uh, deploy the, the fall injection scenario, I see how the, the requests from the source are starting to, you know, to, to get an average five seconds, so it's working with peaks of the DAO, right? Okay, so uh, let me to, to show another scenario that is the traffic system. Uh, Okay, so let me deploy more warlords for them. Okay, I'm going to deploy. Spines. Okay, I deploy the travels two and the travel three. I hope that I can see them in the soon into the into my application. I don't know why today is a little bit slow. Okay, now this is starting is refreshing. So okay, now I have the, the three. The three warlords. So I'm going to uh, add um, two more versions of the um, into the travel service to see uh, if I can mitigate or I can help to mitigate the, the, the slow of, of my scenario. And another typical feature is that, okay, I will lay to test is these two versions are going to, to improve the, the behavior, right? So an, another scenario that I can uh, showcase is the traffic shifting, right? I have this um, uh, this action under the travel service. Um, I can, for example, to decide to send the seventy percent of the traffic to the travel version one, and just to send fifty percent of of all the rest of the traffic to version two and, and version three. So I can create that, right? And Kiali, what is going to do is to generate the configuration needed for that. It's going to show me this uh, YAML, right? And with the piece of representation of these routes, as well as the destination rule. The destination rules is going to show me if I have any error in the definition. And if I click into the, into the graph, if I commute to the record distribution, okay. 
I zoom and I commute into the record distribution. So I'm going to see how, you know, the traffic I can choose to see in the in the travels that I have a virtual service, and I'm going to show how you know it's going to send most of the traffic to the version one to the other one. Okay, so uh, another uh, scenario that I would like to show is that how I can do the same with non HTTP services. For example, on this demo, I have also a database, right? And imagine that some of our, our administration detect that they want to, to check if um, the, the slow that we have detected in the hotels is due to the database. And we have a, the database administrator that is proposing, hey, I have a new indexes strategy, and I would like to create uh, a couple of versions to test if the indexing strategy is going to improve the behavior that we are seeing, right? So this is something that we can demonstrate as well how with Istio. So let me to show that into the into this case. Sorry, I miss my notes. Okay, I'm going to deploy. Okay, I'm going to deploy two more workloads for the for the database. Let me to, to filter it. Okay, so they are deployed. So I expect that they are going to receive traffic. Okay, pretty soon. Okay, I, probably I think that this case I can go to the details. I see that I have the three database here and um, as well. So I can also try to create a TCP tra traffic shifting and I can say, okay, I'm going to send 50% uh, of my traffic to the, uh, the first workload and I'm going to balance the 25% uh, of the rest of the traffic to the other two workloads. Okay, now, so, because today my my cluster is a little bit slow and and I cannot demonstrate as as I will late to show that but okay okay so now I go to the MySQL service right I will like to show the workloads and for example I can go to the invoice metrics right. And you, guys, I can, uh, you have uh, five more minutes to yeah. so that we can allow some conversation at the end. Yes, exactly. So this is what I wanted to show. You know that I can also to to show this scenario with the swing. Uh, the last scenario that I wanted to show in five minutes is also how to deal with security, right? So imagine that now uh, I want to create a security scenario, and I want to say, okay, for now, from all this traffic. Right, I want that only the existing traffic is allowed to 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 work. How I should do that in 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 Istio? So it's something that I can just to create the traffic policies. Um, clearly, what is going to do is to create a first deny all authorization policy for this namespace. And for all the traffic that has been generated is going to allow, okay, you have existing traffic. So now I'm going to create a, a rule for you. So in that case, if I um, try to create a new, one second. A new, a new workload that is not allowed to, to send traffic. Okay. So I created a new uh, a new a new workload, and this new workload is a little bit slow. But when it's being deployed, so what is going to show is that this workload is going to receive 
security errors that he's not allowed is stopped by the sidecars that he's not allowed to send to send traffic right uh, okay that is so you can see this i see this workload this workload has not an authorization traffic right and i can see here that if i go to the edge so i have 400 errors there to to show me that okay that if i group the errors by uh, response code okay i have 400 errors just confirming that you know that this world has not is not allowed to access and has not uh, has not a, a authorization policy to do that right and uh, yeah um that's what i wanted to show you sorry by the technical problems but just to to mention that all of these use cases for observe for connect for security using kiali are fully documented in in kiali.io tutorial and are ready for you and we are also in istio slack in kiali rooms so if you have any questions comments about this short demo or tutorial just let us know okay thank you so let me do a stop sharing and maria if anyone has any questions or comment yeah thank you so much uh, lucas for for presenting this demo uh, anybody has uh, questions or comments uh, for lucas about this demo Uh, I also wanted to note that I launched a poll uh, to get your feedback on this uh, on this meetup. So, if you can please uh, take a minute or two to vote, uh, that'll be great. Um, we're gonna give it a few more minutes for questions or comments from people. Uh, this was one of the, if I remember correctly, this topic was one of the workshops that we had at Istiocon, is that right? Yeah, correct. And also uh, in the Istiocon, there was a longer workshop, two oh, hours, and I guess that the video is, is published in YouTube as well. So if you want also to see with more details all these steps, yeah, it's, it's available for everyone. Awesome. So um, this is uh, Uli Roman from Box. Uh, I have a question. Uh, yes. And it may have been asked and answered in uh, Istiocon, but unfortunately I wasn't able to attend the workshop. Um, so uh, this looks really great and it's a great product and I'm very interested and now I'm actually working on hopefully bringing that in-house into Box so that if we can use it. Uh, but my general, my, my specific question is, can this also help during the migration phase? So we're not yet on Istio, but we're moving on Istio, but we cannot do a, a big bang approach, obviously. So we're using our own customized proprietary service mesh that is based on Envoy, but it uses a, a, a proprietary control plane. Um, and we need to move workloads step-by-step step from our custom service mesh into the Istio control plane. And can Istio be used as part, at least for, to visualize as part of this process? In other words, can I see non-Istio workloads to some extent? I mean, you showed it here, but I'm not 100% sure to what extent that was happening. Yeah, Lucas here, yeah, exactly. So Kiali is a tool that is collecting uh, signal or information from, from several sources, from the Kubernetes API, so what we try to do is collect all the deployments controller that you have defined, right? With all the pods. Also, we collect information from the telemetry that the sidecars are collecting. But also we, we at the beginning of my demo, I, I wanted to, to show that the scenario that you may have a namespace that you migrated into the into the into the mess and other namespaces that are not yet migrated, are communicating. And you want to see what is happening, right? On some cases, it's a, a scenario that you want because you are in a migration phase. On, in other cases, you are migrating. You expect that you should receive telemetry, but you don't because there is some kind of misconfiguration 
um, or some kind of, of problem with uh, the connectivity between the sidecar to the to the control plane, something like that. The idea is that this tool is going to help you also in that scenario. So it's not only for you know one that you have all your workloads inside the mess. The tool is going to be useful for you. The idea is that it also help you to to move your workloads from non mess into the mess as well. That's the intention. Okay, yeah, that was my impression. But I just wanted to confirm that um, because it was you didn't make it that explicitly as you just stated it yet. So thank you very much for confirming. No, thank you to you for asking. And and you know, uh, one thing that I would like also to present today to the community is that uh, we are learning this technology as service mess is quite new for all the users. So as soon as we learn and we receive feedback that some use case that we don't support yet, but it's interesting for you, please let us know in any of the channels that, that we have, because it's something that this project is quite active and we may work on that. Thank you. Any other questions or comments uh, for Lucas? Actually, I have a follow-up question. Sorry, <laughs> it looks like oh, yeah, I monopolize. I monopolize <laughs> this here. Um, so, how would uh, Kiali work in a situation of a multi-cluster or multi-mesh setup? To give you a little bit of uh, background, we are deploying on GCP, but we're deploying a regional mesh, meaning we have a, a regional. GKE control plane cluster that us just holds the control plane. And then we have application clusters that are zonal that are joining the mesh. Um, and I suspect that is kind of transparent. You can use Kiali and deploy it into the, uh, into the control plane cluster, and then you get visibility and metrics, everything across the entire. But now we also want to extend to a second region and a third region and whatnot, right? So yeah. is there a way to actually set up a super Kiali that uh, kind of use the visibility in all the uh, all the regions and all the sub meshes, or is this still kind of you don't have a single pane of glass? We uh, yeah, thank thank you for the question because it's is one of the areas that we are pretty active right now. So you know that the multi cluster deployments is a big topic and quite active topic for Istio as well from the community. So Istio, uh, sorry, Kiali has also uh, added recently uh, support for multi-cluster deployments. So the first scenario that, the, that is covered is that when we have a Kiali per uh, control plane. So if you have multi-cluster, typically we support today a scenario where you have a Kiali in the cluster A and another Kiali in cluster B. And we are working to show the, how the communication is flowing between the two. The, so you will see, okay, this cluster is communicating with the other cluster and we want to show you that. So it's, it's quite, this topic is quite active because the deployment model is something that uh, there are several options. Also, we are working on, on federation uh, models, which is different. So probably the, 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 the control uh, plane, uh, could, I may have multiple control planes within the single cluster and I want to federate to communicate with egress traffic one to another. Uh, yeah, we are working on give support. The single, uh, the single plane. Sorry, to, to have one single Kiali to give at the same time um, multiple clusters, multiple control planes. At the moment, is in the on, on the table for discussion, right? But it's more in, in the drafting the whiteboard idea. So at the moment, the the the, the, the support it that we have is the. Uh, right now <laughs> because i tell you it's something that we are working on that and thank you for bringing because it's it gives feedback but this to have a kiali pair control plane at the moment right but we are working on that so all the I mean, feedback at, at least if you have visibility from a kiali where i say well this cluster talks to this cluster this cluster at least you have some visibility into that that's uh, a, a good starting point and helpful yeah, and absolutely. Yes, yes I invite you, invite you to, to join into the Istio Slack as well, Kiali Room. Feel free to, to contact with any of the of the team to, to come in because it's, I, I tell you, so a lot of things are on the white bar, on the whiteboard in the designing phase. So all the feedback can help us to, to put priorities and, and what should be the direction. This is what we like for the community. Thank you. <laughs> 